What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix Windows resources protection corrupt files uh, found on your system. So when you go into command prompt here and you run the command prompt and run SFC space forward slash scan now, when you run this, what will generally happen is it will come back with some sort of corruption and uh, it will say your system files have a corruption as you'll see here. It'll just come up here. There we go. So as you can see here, it's now telling us there's a log file that's been created in the CBS folder in your logs area. And I'll show you that in a second and how to get to it and how to look for the error that be showing up on the screen there. So what we're going to do is go into our Windows directory. So go into C here, then into Windows. Then you want to go into logs inside logs look for cbs and then inside cbs will be the log file that was just created you should see cbs there now so open up the uh, cbs file it's just a text document and basically has all the results here listed and uh, what you can do is go through here and look for the corrupted files or the corrupt file that is been flagged now you can do a search here as well by going to edit and find and then type in here corrupt and you can search up and down to see whether there is a corrupt file inside there. Now what it will do is it'll display itself on the bottom. I'll show you a little bit more later on where the corrupt file is. And uh, once you've done that you can then start to try to resolve that problem which is being flagged as the error. So what we're going to do next is go and run some checks on the system. So we're going to go into our command prompt by typing CMD in the search box and run this as administrator. This will open up our command prompt box and we're going to do a check disk on the uh, command prompt here. So we just type this out, CHK DSK space forward slash F. We're just going to do a quick check here just to make sure. Now it wants to uh, run this on the next reboot that's fine by me you can run uh, dismount and all that sort of stuff but we're just going to uh, reboot the system and let it run its check disk where on the next reboot which is fine by me so we're going to go wifey yes there we can now close off this prompt box and then reboot our system once we reboot it should start going through its check disk so let that do its thing then we can go here now it's going to be rebooting there we go so you don't want to touch the keyboard at this stage because otherwise it will skip this uh, process and we want to run the check disk. Give me a little five second countdown. Let that run and it'll go through a bunch of stages here to check to see if there's any issues there uh, with, with the system. So we're going to let that run. Now it does take a bit of time, uh, so be patient. And uh, we're just going to let this run through. So what we'll do once this is finished, we'll go ahead and download some software and I'll show you some other things you can do. Now what you need to do here is check to make sure the drive is okay and the drive's not bad. It's not got any bad sectors or anything like that on the drive that's causing an error because uh, sometimes this is the case and you need to quickly check the drive. We can use a bunch of different software which I'll show you in a second which you can use. There's other stuff out there as well. You see me use plenty of different software over the years. So I'll just show you some of the things you can do to try to rectify this problem. So you can see now that's now finished. And now we're going to boot back up to the desktop. And once we get to the desktop, we'll be able to download our software. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So we're going to go and get Crystal Disk. You can download Crystal Disk for free and run this to check the smart on the drive to make sure it's in good health. And it will give you some other useful information there about the drive. This just gives you a quick reference point to find out whether the drive is bad or not. So we don't want the uh, crystal disk mark, we want the crystal disk info. So download which version you want here. I'm just going to download the executable file. And once this comes down, we'll be able to install it and run it on the system. So we'll let that run down. There we go. And there's another piece of software that which I want to get, which is Minitool Partition Wizard, the free version. You can always download this software 
and we can run this as well this has got some useful little things on it that you can use so we're just going to install these on the system let me just shut this back window down agree to their terms and then we can go ahead and install this on the computer here there we go that's done so let's move on to the other software as well we get that installed once we've got these installed we can run them and check the system so let me just go ahead and install the mini tool partition wizard so we get this installed here there we go go next now when installing these systems make sure you remove the tick from participate in customer experience and also remove the tick from this area here because otherwise it's going to install a vast free antivirus this is how they can produce this software for free they add in these little programs to be installed as well as this program to pay for the freeness of the uh, program itself so make sure you remove those ticks okay now they do get flagged as uh, open candy which is basically uh, software that's embedded in other software but just undo those ticks and you should be good to go so we've got mini tool open here and uh, from here we can just take a look you can right click on the c drive here and uh, when you right click on it it'll give you a bunch of options available and you can see you can uh, do check file system you can check only and do not detect errors or do not fix detected errors or you can check and fix detected errors so you just run the check and it will just um, give you the information that you just got when you did a reboot on the computer so you can do it from this uh, location if you wanted to and there's many other ways you can do it as well and also what you can do here is run a surface test on the drive and this will normally give you an indication that the drive is going bad so just run a quick surface test on the drive if it comes back all green the drive uh, surface test is okay if you start seeing red errors in blocks on the drive that means the drive is starting to fail and you can run a more extensive test if you wish to find out more information about that uh, but personally once you start seeing those uh, normally the drive is starting to fail you can see we've got no errors on there there's no red squares or no red blocks on the uh, test that we did there so we can close this off and we can move on to another thing that we wanted to try which is crystal disk now crystal disk gives you the smart reading it gives you the health status of the drive itself you can see it's saying it's in good working health the temperature is okay and it tells you the power on hours how many hours it's been powered on it also gives you the power on count as well and it gives you the total host rights how many rights have been written to that drive now if there's vast amounts of drive rights to the drive it could be that the drive is becoming to end of its life cycle and uh, there's some more information you can get from the manufacturer themselves where they can supply you software samsung give you the samsung magician you can see the drive condition is in good health you can check the smart so if you don't want to download third party software you can use the manufacturer software to check the health status of that drive so let's move on to uh, something else here to check so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the search box here and uh, we're going to type in here ms config and what you want to do is go into the ms config configuration box here and put in safe mode and boot into safe mode the reason why we want to do that is we want to run checks in safe mode rather than at the desktop just in case there's some uh, antivirus program running or some sort of issue uh, at the desktop and this will get into safe mode and we can run uh, our checks from that location just to make sure that everything is okay because sometimes you can get some interference from applications running in the background and this can cause problems so it's always best to boot into safe mode and uh, run checks from that location there so we're just going to boot up here and uh, get into safe mode itself now safe mode means that there will be no background programs running in the background which means you can run your commands from here and hopefully uh, you should be able to resolve your his issues from uh, this location a lot better you can also boot up to a windows disk if you want to do that as well 
So you can see we're in safe mode now. The back screen is black and it says safe mode in the corners. So what we're going to do here is open up our command prompt, run this as administrator, and we've got our command prompt box open. Now that's black on black, so I'm just going to quickly change this to another color so you can uh, see uh, the background a little bit better. So let's go into our properties here. Now we're just going to quickly change the background color. And it should be under colors here. So let's just go through here, layout, colors, there we go. So colors, so we're going to go to color and we're going to change the background color here. We'll change it to blue. You'll be probably able to see that a little bit better. So we need to close this off and reopen it and it will be blue now. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. There we go. Could have changed the text uh, font to a different color so you could see it better, but we'll go with what we got here. So SFC space forward slash scan air, run this and hopefully uh, you don't have any issues and it runs through uh, perfectly fine. So just let that run through. And you can see there's still an issue here. It's still showing up there's a problem. And what you want to do here is go into the C root directory and check the log file. And let me just quickly show you here where we can show you the logs uh, now where we got the error message. So go into CBS and go up to edit and then find an input in corrupt. And you should now see there's a corrupt file and it will list all the corrupt files in there. Okay. And you can see there's a bunch of them there. And this is how you can determine which is causing the problem and how you can go about fixing it. It's that simple. So let's move on to the next thing which you can do from here, which will sometimes resolve this problem that you're seeing here. So what you want to do is from the safe mode and the command prompt box, you want to type dism space forward slash online space forward slash and we want to go clean up, then dash image, and then space forward slash restore health, all one word, like so. You don't have to have the capitals in there. If you don't want to, uh, you could just type it out like that. Capitals don't mean much in inside here. So we're just going to let that run, and it may take a bit of time, so be patient and let this run, and this will normally resolve a lot of the problems that you're having uh, with that issue there. Normally once that's finished you can do SFC scan now and run the same thing again if you wish but we're going to go back into MS config here and remove our safe mode and boot back into our normal uh, desktop and restart here. So let's go ahead and restart. And there we go, we're back at the desktop. Now if you're still having issues, we need to restart the system and hold the shift key down and keep the shift key held down and it will get us into our choose an option window here. And from here, you wanna to go to troubleshoot. So if you're still having major problems, get into troubleshoot and you may want to go into reset this PC. Now, if you do have restore points available, you can use system restore and hopefully that will resolve your problem. If not, you'll have to go into keep my files and start to uh, reinstall Windows. You will lose uh, some programs and stuff like that, uh, but this will be the only way you're gonna resolve that issue. Now, again, you need to make sure by 100% that you've not got any sort of hardware issue, like hard drives and stuff like that. If you have got issues with your hardware, then doing this is not gonna help you. Uh, so you may need to just replace that drive. But first off, uh, just go through this method here and normally this will resolve a lot of problems it's a bit of a, a hassle to reinstall windows 10 but sometimes you're going to have to go ahead and do it so you can see here now it says reset this pc you can see that reset this pc will remove all apps and programs that did not come with this pc it changed settings back to their defaults and reinstalls windows without removing your personal data even though it says that I would always back up my data before I continued uh, by, with doing that. Now also you can use the media creation tool from Microsoft. You can download their tool 
and download the ISO file to build your USB uh, flash drive and reinstall from there as well. But if you want to download the ISO file, you can do an in-place uh, upgrade. You can install from your desktop if you want to use this method. So let me just quickly show you here uh, what you can do. So you can download uh, the program, install the program, and then again, once you've got this downloaded, you want to download the ISO file from Microsoft. Now you can also do a fresh install from this location as well. You can create a bootable USB flash drive and boot to that drive and then reinstall Windows with a clean, fresh install rather than doing what I showed you previously. That is entirely up to you which way you choose to install Windows. Uh, we want to try the previous method first and then if that doesn't work, try the fresh install and hopefully if that works, you're good to go. But if it doesn't, then obviously you need to start considering getting your PC checked by a PC tech because there's something wrong. So let's accept these terms and conditions here. So it's just getting a few things ready to be patient and let it do its thing. And it will give you a couple of options after this to upgrade this PC now or create a bootable USB flash drive or download an ISO. So depending on what you want to do, whether you want to do an upgrade to this PC now and try to install Windows over the top of Windows, or you can create a bootable USB flash drive and do a fresh install or you can download the ISO file and drag all the files onto your desktop and run them from there. It's entirely up to you which way you want to try to resolve this problem. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a USB flash drive or ISO. You can see here, use the recommended options for this PC. Uh, I'm going to leave it as that, but if you want to take it out, you can do and use it on other types of PCs. So we're just going to go ahead. You can boot a USB flash drive here, or you can download the ISO file. We're going to download the ISO file. And of course, this will download the ISO file. You can then mount this and install it from there, and it will basically install. So it depends on which way you want to go about doing it, um, which way you want to try first. If you just want to blow it all away and do a complete fresh install, uh, then that's probably your best method. Back all your stuff up and do a complete fresh clean install of Windows 10 and if the problem goes away the problem's been resolved but if you still got problems then there could be something more sinister like a hardware issue and then you need to uh, start to consider uh, getting that investigated by PC Repair Tech. Anyway that's going to be about it for this video and I uh, hope this one helps you out. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you've got any other suggestions then leave them in the comments section below. If you've got any video requests you can always pop on our Discord server or leave them in the comment section, I'll try and find them there. Other than that, have a great day, and have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching, bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel, and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.